Hi, welcome to this clip going through a short section of um, question four from the Unified Chemistry 2019 paper. This is quite an unstructured calculation and it assumes um, that you can read quite a lot of data that you might not have seen you know, in a format you might not have seen before. So first of all, let's have a look at what it says about um, the label in the bottle. It's at 4.8%, which meaning that 100 centimetres cubed of rudetol contains 4.8 grams of chloroxylenol. It also uh, shows you the pH right at the very top of the page as 5.14. So the first thing to do is to write the equation. And they want you to use molecular formulae. So you're actually being directed to do a certain type of formula. So not any old formula, like a structure, for example. It has to be molecular formulae. So I've popped the structure in there for chlorozylenol from earlier in the question, which enables you to do the molecular formulae. So the next thing to do is to calculate the acid dissociation constant. So that's quite straightforward, because you've got your conjugate base, your um, original weak acid, and your H+. Plus. So we have to think about what it is that we need to calculate. The first thing is the H+. Plus. So we know that we've got uh, 5.14 as our um, pH. So the key to getting the concentration of your chloroxylenol is to be able to calculate the number of moles of chloroxylenol in 100 centimetres cubed, and then times that by 10. So if we take the fact that there's 4.8 grams of chloroxylenol in um, 100 centimetres cubed, we can then just multiply that up. So that gives us um, 3.06709265.2 times 10 to the minus um, 2. So therefore, if we multiply that by 10, that now gives us the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. So now we can see where to insert the numbers into the um, Ka expression. We can do the Ka calculation. 1.71109099 times 10 to the minus 6, but because the values in the, uh, the data given are to three sig figs, you can use three sig figs upwards as an acceptable uh, abbreviation. Okay, so hopefully that uh, is a fairly useful walkthrough if you needed it. And as always, thanks for listening, and until next time, see you soon.